Hey everybody, I'm finally back from a weekend, three days at uh, the Fest for Beatles fans uh, in this New York City, 50th anniversary celebration, and I got a lot of stuff to show that I picked up, some of it I bought, some of it w was free gifts, and uh, I know I'm going to need more than one video to, to show all these things, so uh, if you like what you see, tune into the next part. Uh, this is one of those times where I really could use to have a camera with a 30 minute capability, so um going to start out with things uh, like when you first go to the hotel and you register at the hotel they give you a nice Beatles pin which is free and it's nice to have uh, they had uh, some trivia contests and a name that tune contest and if you watch one of my other videos I, I uploaded when I was playing name that tune and won the grand prize um, but just for playing it the few times that I played, if you're a contestant, whether you win or lose, you still get uh, little prizes. One of them I got was a little button here, um, Imagine Peace. And they gave me a free button, Ringo Starr, Choose Love, from the Choose Love album. Um, also, one of the times that I won something... They gave me a love t-shirt celebrating the love show and on the back is a Sgt. Pepper's love emblem. Uh, some people were asking me after my video where I, I played Name That Tune and won the grand prize. What, what prize did I win? Well here it is. It's this book. Uh, pretty hefty book. How the Beatles changed the world. So that's what I won. Um, let's see. Now, uh, here's some things that I picked up in the Beatles flea market. Finally, got a copy of John Lennon in his own right. This is a UK edition and it's in really great shape and I got it for a really good price. Very cheap. Cheap by, you know, Beatles collectible standards. So. That's good. Um, picked up uh, some pins. My favorite pin was this one here. Vintage 1964. I'm bugs about the Beatles. And uh, I, I wore this for the rest of the convention. I thought it was funny. So, also picked up very cheap an I Love George button, uh, which is. Say very, very affordable, and even more affordable was this one. I love Ringo, and I think the reason it was extra cheap was because if you look, there's some wear and tear and age on it. <laughs> but uh, too bad they didn't have a John Lennon button because John's my favorite. But I collect it all. So um, let's see. Now we're gonna go into some vinyl, which I know a lot of you vinyl hounds want to see. Um, I wish I could show it all in one video, but I can't. So I'm going to see how many I can get through really rather quickly. Uh, there was a series of interview albums put out by uh, Sickadel was it Sickadelic Records or Citadel Records? Sickadelic uh, Records. I had all of these. This is from Britain with Beat. These albums all have uh, rare interviews, uh, press conferences and things that you don't usually see. And I had all of these in my old original collection that I always talk about before I sold it off. Here's Things We Said Today, another good album of press conferences. There's a lot of good pictures on the back. You probably can't see them all here. And uh, all individual, individual shots of interesting pictures. Um, this is one of my favorite covers out of these. The Beatles, Not A Second Time. These were all very affordable. Not a lot of money. And by the way, speaking of money, um, I decided that, you know, forget about a record cleaning machine. I'm just going to spend whatever expendable cash I have on records and uh, clean records myself. Another way. Here's another interview album, All Our Loving. This is another one of those. Uh, I, I still, sick of, psychedelic records. Some good pictures there. Uh, here's one 
with interviews again called East Coast Invasion. Now there's also a, a brother to this one called the West Coast Invasion of interviews and uh, I didn't come across that one unfortunately. It's one that I still need. I remember having these in my original collection. A lot of good interviews. Okay, I also picked this up finally. Uh, it's one of the releases I did not have. It's Band on the Run. USA, uh, see the McCartney archive strip here. Um, it's sealed and I got it, again, really cheap. That's why I bought some of these. I mean, this was not expensive. This thing you can't even buy anymore, really. But this was very affordable and ridiculously low. So I got it. And the same goes for this, which I didn't have yet. The Yellow Submarine song track from 1999. This was also very affordable and it's not on a yellow vinyl. I don't know the history of this. This is on a black vinyl, but uh, it says it's made, uh, it says printed in EU. What does EU mean? Europe? Uh, it doesn't say UK. I don't know what this is. Maybe some of you can tell me. Probably UK. This is a Beatles reissue. Foreign album that I got here. I bought this mo mostly for the cover. You know, it's not an original. It's a pretty cool cover, though. It's German. And I, I always like to have cool covers. It's on orange. Orange Odeon label. Odeon. And one of the most desirable German albums that I did not have yet is this. Finally, the German version of Beatles Greatest, which has a lot of great songs on here. It's a little dirty. I think after I bought this, I came across some that were in a little better shape that I hadn't seen. Uh, but this is an original, right? Tell me. Ellie? Mr. Ellie Records? I don't know. Is it an original? Uh, maybe not. Odeon. A little Odeon label. Had a good time at the fest, I gotta tell you guys. I had a great, great, great time. I'm wasting time here though. Uh, here's one, out of everything I bought, this was probably the most expensive. It was the Flaming Pie on vinyl album from Paul. Still sealed, uh, brand new, printed in the USA, USA sealed. And this was probably the most costly of what I bought. But I, I love this album. It's one of Paul's best. If you haven't heard Flaming Pie, folks, buy it. Um, here's an, an old album that I used to have in my collection again that uh, I keep finding this really expensive. Uh, I'm, I'm covering the price tag here, but it's, it's not very expensive, believe me. The songs Lennon and McCartney gave away, artists like uh, Billy J. Kramer and the Dakotas. Billy J. Kramer was at the convention. And, you know, the Apple Jacks, Peter and Gordon, etc. Peter Asher was at the convention. And this is songs that they did that the Beatles wrote. And that's it. Check out my next video. I got a lot more vinyl and other stuff. Thanks for watching.